Welcome back to Waffle TV sponsored by West. I'm Livia Karen and we are at Gilded Balloon with Mark Dolan. Hello. This is the ideal TV station for me, Waffle TV, because mm -hmm. I'm a waffler. I love a bit of a chit chat. I really do. Waffling, verbal diarrhea is my thing. <laughs> So this is great. This is a television channel just for me. Uh, you are doing a show at the moment called You're Awesome, a stand-up show. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's a stand-up show about all the stuff that's great in life, all the awesome things. Because I feel that we've had three or four years of doom and gloom, recession, wars. And I think the media have also sort of helped us to get depressed and sort of we've talked ourselves into this rut. And I feel that now, after a year of ridiculously amazing British sporting success and economic green shoots of recovery and all that stuff, I feel that there's this kind of upbeat vibe and I feel like the public are ready to be happy again and to put a smile on their faces. So that's what the show's intended to do. So it's, it's me focusing all the great stuff in life and actually coming at a stand-up um, hour, an hour of sort of comedy, but from a positive angle, from a kind of glasses half full rather than half empty. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. So what kind of things make you happy? Well, I think it's a lot of the free stuff in life. I mean, I've got an, a list in the show of awesome things. Uh, and it's just, you know, what? It's, it's little things that don't cost any money. But you're walking down the street, a car goes past and there's a dog just leaning out of the window. Right. <laughs> and that, cre that creature just looks incredibly happy, especially when his face kind of goes. <laughs> like that. It's just the best thing in the world. And it's those little moments like finding a tenor in an old pair of trousers. Mm. Okay, yeah. it's that sort of stuff. So that's what it is, and and the show's got lots of elements to it. So I sort of talk about married life, having kids. That's very joyful. That's awesome to me. I talk about social media, which although there is a dark side to it, um, I think that's wonderful because it's sort of connecting people. So I'm kind of looking at. All, also, I'm addicted to shopping, so I talk a lot about the shopping experience. I love a bit of a shop. What's the best thing you've ever bought? Um, well, I think these shoes actually, which I got Ooh, from. Um, what do you think of wow. them? Yeah. They are very orange. Yeah, I mean, they, they split opinion, if I'm honest. Yeah. <laughs> but that's my comfort zone. I like to split opinion. That's okay. So you went to university in Edinburgh, and you were part of the Improverts, yeah. the improvised comedy troupe here. Did you perform at the Fringe as a student then? I did. I had four fringes in a row, and that was the real baptism of fire. Um, midnight show, and we, we did about, well, you know, like everybody, we did about 25 shows in 26 days. So that was, yeah, and I was only 18 when I started that. It's good, she's got a good, she should be in show business. <laughs> I was just thinking that, put the, yeah. put the microphone a bit closer. She does, that lady doesn't need a microphone. She's got one built in. That was impressive. Wow. <laughs> now, this isn't your first solo stand-up thing at the Fringe. You've been back before. You did I'm Here to Help, uh, yeah. 2007. So why do you keep coming back to the Fringe? What's so attractive about it? Well, I, I mean, there's so many reasons. I love Edinburgh anyway. I think it's one of the, I think it's one of the world's great small cities. It's uh, such a stunning place. It's like a homecoming for me. Um, there isn't a platform that's like the Edinburgh Festival for a comedian. It doesn't matter how busy you are, and I'm gigging all year long, but there aren't many, uh, there aren't many occasions in which you have an hour uh, with an audience every night for a whole month. So it's, it's always, even though you're topping up your experience all the time anyway on the circuit, um, it's an amazing learning curve, an hour a day, 25 hours. You've done, you've done pretty much a whole day of speaking by the time you get to <laughs> the end of August. So it's a good place to develop new material, to grow something new, to experiment. Now you've met some pretty fascinating people, especially with your show, The World's Something yes. and Me. Does any of that inspire your stand-up? Yeah, it does. My show, the, the You're Awesome show, which I'm doing at the moment, is very much about people because... I mean, I, I, I've got my material about stuff that I think is great and, uh, you know, that's, that's obviously is a big part of it. But at a certain point in the show, I, part of the show is my search for Britain's most awesome person. Because I've got a theory that everyone's, everyone's awesome, everyone's compelling, <laughs> okay? No, do you know what? It's not You're true. You're a charmer. People aren't awesome, but uh, it's, no, not, everyone, <laughs> not everyone's awesome. But I, I would say it's a bit like um, innocent till proven guilty. Yeah. I just assume everyone's awesome unless their behavior makes me think otherwise. You know what I mean? But my that is true. I like people. And when I meet someone, I'm assuming the best on their behalf. And then I'll just wait to discover anything else further down the line. Okay. <laughs> I do find that lady's voice very distracting, if yeah, I can be honest sorry. with you. But you know what? She's still awesome. She's, she got, she's got an awesome pair of lungs. She, she definitely does. So it's really proved my theory that if you were to pluck somebody out, of, you know, if you were to grab even the loud lady in this bar, right? <laughs> but if you were to grab anyone, sit them down and grill them for two minutes, you'd find out something quite amazing. 
And that's what this show is, is proving. <laughs> yeah, go on in. We'll bring her on the real on the That's it. Show. But could she stand about three metres from us? Yes. <laughs> Um, so I've read that at the end of your show you give them the prize for the most awesome person so yes do you ever get to a point where where you're asking you know is there anyone out in here that is awesome and someone doesn't pick anyone they kind of sit there they're with family and friends and they just ignore it what do you mean do I have trouble getting people to volunteer e- e- each yeah. other yeah do you know what sometimes it takes a little coaxing mm. but what I notice is that once there's once somebody has um, been offered up for slaughter right for sacrifice <laughs> yeah. sometimes it feels that way um, then then it gets competitive and people go well wait a minute actually you need to meet my husband because dot 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 so um, it's, that, it's that competitive spirit that tends to make, bring people out of themselves so once I've got my first candidate it tends to be downhill from there is there any one secret that you could share with me to, to, that makes someone awesome? Wow. Uh, I think authenticity. You know, I think that if somebody is really, um, you know, whenever, whenever you hear someone described as what you see is what you get, I think yeah. that's a fabulous quality to have. And so, um, you know, that's it really. I think that's, that's one. There are lots of things. Generosity. Um, people who are kind of, you know, not sort of caught up in themselves. Mm. And I think and this has been a lovely show for me because my, I've not been able to sit and, you know, stew over my show and how it's doing and everything because I'm so focused on, you know, the people who are coming on the show and who I've got. And it, it's good to get out of yourself. So I think, you know, people who are focused on other people, um, sense of humor is yeah. a key one, too. I think there's a reason why a sense of humor is important in anybody is because um, if you can't laugh at yourself, I think that speaks volumes about where you're at as a person, you know, in terms of your, your confidence and your general, your general self-possession, you know. I mean, I love, for example, I come to Scotland. I love Scotland. Scotland's on my list of awesome things. Mm. It's an extraordinary, amazing country. And uh, the Scots are so good at laughing at themselves. And it was it's just, I was in Falkirk and doing some gigs there, and I was, I was absolutely outrageous and some of the things I said about Falkirk was just I mean certainly unbroadcastable and they were just like you know cracking up and and just loving every minute of it and so um, self-deprecation and laughing yourself is another gorgeous quality which the Scots have got in spades Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sitting and chatting to us. Your show is running until the 25th of August. (laughs) The show is on at 7.45pm right here at the Gilded Balloon. And you can also see more of us at www.waffletv.com.